Okay, so here's the situation. It's Friday night, which means girls' night out for Kelsey, Rose, Gabby, Lily, and Tina. They decide to head to the movies. They get to the movie theaters, grab some snacks, and take their seats. But there's a problem. Some of the girls aren't pleased with their seats. First, Kelsey and Rose switch seats. Next, Kelsey and Tina switch seats. And finally, Gabby and Tina switch seats. At the end of the movies, it's Kelsey in seat A, Rose in seat B, Gabby in seat C, Lily in seat D, and Tina in seat E. And then they ask us who was sitting in seat E, seat C, at the beginning of the movies. Well, that's a whole lot of information, so what do we do? Since it's so overwhelming, we should probably just go back through the situation step by step, use a flow chart to represent the situation visually, and see what we can do from there. So first they tell us that all the girls sit down. But we don't know who sits down where yet, so we're just going to leave that blank. And then next they tell us that Kelsey and Rose switch seats. And we can just put that down right here because it shows a change. So Kelsey and Rose switch seats. This creates a whole other seating arrangement. But we still don't know who's sitting where yet, so we're going to leave that one blank as well. So next, Tina and Kelsey switch seats. Tina and Kelsey switch seats. Which also creates a whole other seating arrangement. And finally, Gabby and Tina switch seats. Gabby and Tina switch seats. Creating a creating the final seating arrangement. And then they tell us, at the end, Kelsey sat in seat A, Rose sat in seat B, Gabby sat in seat C, Lily sat in seat D, and Tina sat in seat E. Wow, okay, they just told us the final seating arrangement, which means we can just put that right over here. Kelsey, Rose, Gabby, Lily, and Tina. Now that we've represented the given information onto the flowchart, we can solve the problem. So how do we figure out the rest of the flowchart? We do know the changes, so let's see if we can figure out the rest using those changes. Okay, so we know the last seating arrangement, so, and we need to solve who sat in CC at the beginning, so it looks like we need to work backwards to find the first seating arrangement. So the first switch was Gabby and Tina. So they switch seats, which means before, after the switch, Gabby sat in seat C and Tina sat in seat E, which means before the switch, Tina must have been sitting in seat C where Gabby was in the last one, and Gabby must have been sitting in seat E. Yeah, this is correct because T Tina was sitting in seat C and Gabby was sitting in seat E before the change. They change. Gabby's in seat C now and Tina's in seat E. And no one else changed, so Kelsey is still in seat A, Rose is still in seat B, and Lily is still in seat D. So let's go back up, up one more since this seems to be working. So let's see if we can get all the way to the top. So Tina and Kelsey switch. So after the change, Kelsey's in seat A and Tina's in seat C. Which means before the switch, Kelsey must have been in seat C and Tina must have been in seat A. And no one else moved, so Rose still must be in seat B, Lily must still be in seat D, and Gabby must be in seat E. Oops. Gabby. In seat E. So, now we go to the, f the first switch, Kelsey and Rose switch. After the switch, Rose is in seat B and Kelsey is in seat C, which means before the switch, Kelsey must be in seat B and Rose must be in seat C, and no one else changed, so Tina must still be in seat A, Lily must still be in seat D, and Gabby must be in seat E. We filled out the whole flow chart. So let's go look back at the question. Who sat in seat C at the beginning? So let's just go to our first one, seat C, 
Rose, so that's your answer. Rose sat in seat C at the beginning of the movie. Let's recap. First, use a flowchart to illustrate the problem, and second, work backwards step by step to solve the problem.